Hi, all you jigsaw puzzle fanatics out there. It's Shannon, and welcome to the Persnickety Puzzler. So today I thought I would start with an apology for not getting a puzzle video out sooner. But there have been a couple of things going on behind the scenes that I thought I would share with you. Uh, the first thing is that you don't know this about me, but I enjoy playing video games. And over the last several months, two games came out that I have been waiting years for. The first one is called Legend of Zelda, and the second one is called Pikmin 4. And I basically have been playing those two games incessantly, and I have fallen into the abyss of just constantly playing video games, not doing any puzzles, uh, and spending pretty much all my free time doing that. So that is one of the reasons why you haven't seen a video recently. The second reason is you also don't know this about me, but in addition to collecting jigsaw puzzles, my husband and I collect pinball machines. And there is a convention in Atlanta that is held every year called the Southern Fried Gaming Expo. We have been going to that convention ever since it started. This year was its 10 year anniversary. We stay at the host hotel and we basically play pinball machines, all the new releases, uh, all the old pinball machines, arcade games, and hang out with our pinball friends and basically have an absolutely wonderful time. So that happened recently. I, that's my cat in the background. And um, one of my cats. That happened recently. We got back from that and it was time for me to go back to work. And on the day that I was to go back, I woke up with a little tickle in my throat, in the back of my throat. And that is usually how I get, I know I'm coming down with something. And of course, the first thing I thought of was, oh my goodness, I've got COVID because I just came back from spending all my free time with thousands of other people at this convention, right? And the year before when I came back from the convention, that was the first time I got COVID. So instantly I'm thinking it's COVID. Uh, on my way to work, I stopped at a CVS pharmacy, picked up the, the COVID self-test, uh, got to work a little early, took the test, and lo and behold, I didn't have COVID. A miracle has occurred. But I knew I had something coming and I talked to my boss and she encouraged me to go home, which was a good move on my part because by the end of the day, I was feeling really crappy, really crappy. And then on the second day, you know, I'm thinking I'm gonna knock this out a couple of days. You know, it's not like me to be optimistic like that, but you know, I, I was trying and day two was definitely worse than day one. Day three was worse than the two previous days. And whatever this thing was, it just didn't want to leave the building. It, it was parked in the back of my throat. It was a throat, nose, congestion, a headache thing. And I felt pretty bad. Um, and all I basically did for days is uh, lay on my sofa, watch tons of terrible television. And, uh, and, you know, I had a lot of free time. So I basically purchased a bunch of puzzles, not a good thing for me to have free time on my hands. Anyway, after about seven days, I felt human enough to go back to work on the eighth day, which I did. And, you know, last week I had planned to do a video, but that was when I was sick and there was just no way that it was going to happen. So here we are. Those are my two reasons, uh, but I'm back. And what we're going to do today is cover the July puzzle haul because it was a doozy of a haul. So let's get started. All right. First puzzle that is up to be viewed and perused is a puzzle by an artist. She's a cartoonist. Her name is Sandra Boynton, and she is a hilarious cartoonist and really gifted. This puzzle is called Puzzle Complaints. It's 500 pieces, and it's a puzzle about puzzling, uh, but complaining about puzzling. 
too much white space, not a good border, it's too easy, um, you know, somebody put in the last piece, you know, that sort of thing. I love puzzles about puzzles. And if you know any good puzzles out there that are puzzles about puzzles, I would love to hear about it in the comments. But uh, I picked this up on Amazon. Uh, I'm glad I did because I was starting to worry it might go out of print and I wouldn't be able to grab a copy. But that problem is now solved. So I got that one. Another one by Sandra. This one's a thousand pieces. It's called Hidden Cows. And I think it's hilariously funny. I love her style of art and her sense of humor. And I purchased this. The name of the brand that both of these two puzzles is on is the Workman Puzzle brand. And by the way, all the puzzles that I'm going to cover in this video today are going to be in the description below. So don't worry if you miss, you know, you're worried about the name of something. Everything will be in the description below and you can check there. But anyway, just adorable, lover style. All right, the next four puzzles are by the Fred Puzzle brand. And I have quite a few of their puzzles. I'm a fan. I love their puzzle line. They do very interesting puzzles uh, as far as the artwork goes. It's not your typical puzzle artwork, which I really, really appreciate. So this first puzzle, this one is called XYZ Blocks. And it's a collage, as you can see. It's a thousand pieces. Uh, I was really drawn to it, partially because I do enjoy putting collage puzzles together. I can knock them out quickly, and it makes me feel like I'm a really fast puzzler. So there's that. Next, we have a puzzle called Lily Pads Explorer. The artist's name is Yuko Shimizu. But what I liked about this is it's just a serene, peaceful, gorgeous puzzle image. And I was just, I, I loved the image. Okay, next is a puzzle called Audrey of Mulberry. Again, this is a Fred puzzle. It's a thousand pieces. It's of Audrey, Audrey Hepburn. You can, I mean, that's easy to tell, but it's a different kind of Audrey puzzle, an interesting Audrey puzzle that I thought was really beautiful. Okay, now this next one, I must warn you, if you have, are, are, if you are sensitive to swear words, then for the next 15 seconds, don't view this and cover your ears. Cause this next puzzle is called Fan Fucking-tastic. And the artist's name is Wayne White. Again, this is a 1,000 piece Fred puzzle. And as soon as I had, uh, saw it, I had to get it. So there's that. Okay. Now let's see. All right. These next four puzzles are by a brand called the Living Stone Puzzle Company. I'd never heard of them. Stumbled across them online, liked the pictures that I saw online, but I have to tell you the boxes upon receipt, I'm not that thrilled with. Uh, these are 500 piece puzzles. I bought four and the first one is called Mystical Museum. I love colorful imagery, so that was what draw, drew me to these. This next one is called Xanadu, okay? This one is called Southwest Invasion. And this last one is called Reckless Abandon. Now, as I said, really not impressed with the boxes at all. However, you know, there could be something great inside the box. I just don't know yet, but I'm going to find out. So stay tuned. That's those four. If you follow my channel at all, you will know that I am a big Gallison puzzle brand person. I like their puzzles. I love their puzzles, actually. And I saw this online. Um, 
and I loved it. I loved the pink. I love pink. This one is called I Love My Hair Tools, and the artist's name is Andrea Pippins. 500 pieces. When I saw it, I put it in my cart. Next up is one called Frank Lloyd Wright Imperial Hotel. This is actually three 250 piece puzzles. And when I saw the art, it's so mod and colorful. It's so me, I had to get it. Next up, we have another Gallison puzzle. This is Frank Lloyd Wright, Saguero Forms and Cactus Flowers. I just love the image and it's really beautiful. And this is a gold foil puzzle, so it's gonna look really pretty. All right, this next puzzle is by a brand that I am not familiar with. I've never put their puzzles together. The brand name is Lawrence King Publishing. Some of you out there have probably got some experience with them. I'd love to hear about it in the comments because I have seen positive comments and I have seen negative comments, but I thought I'd give them a try. This particular puzzle is a thousand pieces it is called Alice's Wonderland, and I loved, loved, loved this image. It's just beautiful. So there's that. Next up, we have a, a puzzle brand. I've purchased one of their puzzles in the past. Uh, this, this brand is called the Sunshine Puzzles Company, Sunshine Puzzles, and I love their aesthetic. I loved the streamlined design, the simplicity, the gorgeous colors. It's just very attractive packaging. I, I really hope that inside the box it is just as nice. This is um, a 1000 piece puzzle. It is called Ice Ice Baby. I purchased this puzzle at, on the Puzzledly website. The Puzzledly website. I can't say enough great things about that website. They have a really large boutique selection of brands, boutique brands, uh, just a lot of them, and really great puzzles. And if you buy three of the puzzles that they have on their website, you get 20% off. And I never have a problem doing that because I love all the brands that they feature. So give them a shot, you, you won't be disappointed. So there's that. Okay. All right. Next up is uh, something I think you'll be surprised to see from me, but um, you're, there's going to be some surprises in this video, obviously. Um, I like Charles Wysocki. Uh, a lot of people do. He does a lot of puzzles. And this puzzle, uh, what drew me to it is that it's got a Halloween theme, and I bet there's a, another puzzle in here amongst all these puzzles that's also a Halloween theme. I was thinking about that, thinking about doing a video for Halloween, and I saw this and I got it. This is 500 pieces. It's a Buffalo Games jigsaw puzzle. It's called Trick or Treat Hotel. Again, Charles Wysocki is the artist, and I just really liked it, so I got it. All right, next up we have a brand that you probably haven't heard of. I hadn't until I saw this puzzle. It's called, the brand name is the Tanoos Puzzle Brand. Now, just look, look in the description and you'll find the brand name. I'm not even gonna spell it because I'm just not. I'm pro, I may not even be pronouncing it collect, uh, correctly, but this puzzle is called mid-century mod it's a thousand pieces and i love me some mid-century modern stuff i love that time period so and i love the you know that the colors and everything so i grabbed it next up is a brand that you may not have heard of called the a piece puzzle brand that's a p i e c e and i saw this puzzle which is called A Good Southern Woman. It's a thousand pieces. Again, the brand name is A Piece Puzzles, and I was drawn to this and I got it. 
Next up is another a piece puzzle. This one is called Spring Awaits, and the artist's name is Susan Nethercoat. I'm a big fan of her artwork, and so when I saw it, when I found this puzzle, I grabbed it. Now, again, a piece is a small boutique brand, but what I really appreciate is when they put personal thank you notes in with the puzzles that you purchase. It's a really nice touch and I appreciate it. Okay, these next two puzzles are from a brand that I have reviewed in the past that I really, really like a lot. It's the B. Gramians Puzzle Brand. This first puzzle is called Mandala in Rainbow Lines. And I really, really love putting mandala puzzles together. Now, the boxes that they make, you know, they put their puzzles in are okay. They're not the greatest boxes out there. But what I found is that what's inside the box is really high quality. And I really, really like their puzzles. So I, you know, I saw a mandala puzzle of theirs that I didn't own and I put it in my cart. Okay, this next one is another B. Gramians. It's kind of, you know, it's more of a child's puzzle, but I liked it anyway. Um, this one is called Believe in Magic. It's a round puzzle, 500 pieces. Again, it's from the B. Gramians puzzle brand. Okay. We still got more. We got more. All right. These next two are from a puzzle brand that I purchased on Amazon. The name of the brand is Jayco. That's D-J-E-C-O. And what I like about the Jayco brand is that they do a lot of puzzles that have a horizontal, like landscape orientation. So it's not the typical square, rectangle, or circle. It's just nice to do a different shape. And this particular puzzle that I'm holding up here is called Leopard. It's 1,000 pieces. Um, the, the complete puzzle image is not on the front of the box, but they do include posters in their puzzles. And one, another thing that I love about this brand is the boxes. Oh goodness gracious. These are fabulous boxes, super sturdy. Just love them. Okay. That was my first Jayco. This is my second Jayco. This is called Magic India. And I absolutely loved the artwork on this puzzle. As soon as I saw it, I, I put it in my cart. It's, it's colorful and it's just super cool artwork. The puzzle, again, this is not the complete image, but the poster is included in the box. Okay, next up, I've got several Ravensburger puzzles. Um, this first puzzle is by an artist who has several puzzles on Ravensburger. His name is Dean McAdams, and I love his artwork. This first puzzle is a thousand pieces. It's called Goldilocks Gets Caught, and the artist's name again is Dean McAdams. And what I would like to do at some point is put, is do a video featuring his puzzles because I'm that much of a fan of his. All right, next up is another artist who has a range of puzzles on Ravensburger. Her name is Demelsa Houghton. Kind of an unusual name, but boy, is she gifted. She has illustrated children's puzzles. I don't know a lot about her background, but I know she has some experience in that. I still love the artwork. I think it's fabulous for adults as well as children. This is a thousand pieces and it is called Happy Halloween. Oh, I just love the image. Love her work. All right, another one by Demelsa. This is a thousand pieces. It is called The Secret Garden. And I, you know, just something hypnotic about her artwork. I just love it. All right. This last one is a 2000 piece Ravensburger puzzle. It's called If Fish Could Walk. Again, the artist is Demelsa Houghton. And I 
I mean, I just was so drawn in by this puzzle. I don't normally do, uh, you know, a lot of puzzles over a thousand because I'm really pressed for space. But yes, I made an exception in her case. And I think there may be one more puzzle by her that Ravensburger produces that I have yet to own, but I'm going to get it so that I have a complete set. All right. Um, another thing, I said there'd be some surprises that, you know, about me in this, in this video. And this is something that I have not told you all, but I am a huge cartoon puzzle fan. I adore cartoon puzzles. Something about them, they're busy, they're, they're funny, there's lots of color, and I just love them. And I saw this on Amazon. This is called Cosmic Crunch. It is a thousand pieces. It is by the Twink Puzzle Company. I have one of their other puzzles and I haven't put it together yet, but I just love the art. It was just super fun, cartoony, love it. Next, we have more cartoon puzzles by a brand called Evermade. I got these on Amazon. This is a thousand pieces. It is called Woodland Soiree. Uh, again, the brand name is Evermade. And I was really drawn to the art and the comic, you know, the cartoon. Uh, that's my cat in the background, sorry. The cartoon image, I was really drawn to it, so I got it. And since I was getting one of their puzzles, I thought I might feature the brand. So I always try to get more than one if I'm going to do a puzzle video. This one is called Techno Dystopia. It's a thousand pieces. I cannot wait to put these two together. Okay. Um, next up, we have a brand called the Antelope Puzzle Brand. And these next five puzzles are by Antelope. And the first four are comic or, or cartoon puzzles. All right, this one is called Cat Castle. It's a thousand pieces. You know, I, I have to give it a try. You know, I have to try the, these cartoon puzzles. This next one is also a thousand pieces. It is called Dog Park. All right. Next we have Drive-In Movie. Cartoon puzzle, another one. There you go. And then last cartoon puzzle by Antelope. This is called Roller Coaster Thrills. Looking forward to putting these together. A thousand pieces. All right. And this last puzzle is also by Antelope. Quite different from the cartoon ones. This one is called Picasso in the Studio. And I just loved the image. A thousand pieces, really cool. Okay, all right, we still got more, we've got more. All right, this puzzle that I'm about to show you is a 500 piece puzzle called Flowers of the World. It's by the Talking Tables puzzle brand. I picked it up on Amazon. I love the colors, love the image, just thought it was really pretty. Now, this next brand that I'm going to discuss, I haven't really talked about on my channel before, but I am a huge fan of the Hay Puzzle brand. I love them. Now, they are based in Germany, and I am not 100% sure how to pronounce their name. It's either Hay or Hi or some variation in between. If you know for a fact how to pronounce their name, Please let me know in the comments below so that I know for future videos and for my own peace of mind. But um, one of the things about Hay that I absolutely love is they do a ton of cartoon puzzles and they are hands down the best puzzle manufacturer of cartoon puzzles out there. No question about it. They've got the best stable of cartoon artists, but in addition to the cartoon stuff, Everything they do that is puzzle related is done with the best quality. They are fabulous. I love this brand. So 
This next puzzle, it's not a cartoon puzzle, but I thought it was gorgeous. So I got it. This is called Take a Break. The artist's name is Bob Kuntz. He's got a couple other puzzles in their line and they are gorgeous as well. This is a thousand pieces. I can't wait to put it together. All right, next up, we've got uh, several cartoon puzzles. And this first puzzle is by an artist by the name of John Bergerman. He's got several puzzles on the hay line, different si number of pieces, but all of them are really cool and so much fun. This one is called Pens Are My Friends. Uh, it's a thousand pieces. Uh, everything that this guy does is just the happiest. It just brings me so much joy to put his puzzles together. They're just a blast, okay? All right, the next three puzzles are by a particular cartoon artist on Hay. Uh, his name is Marino Degano. I love everything this guy has ever done, and I have quite a few of his puzzles, but one of the things that he's been doing over the last several years is a particular uh, theme and it's called, it's called Habitat. And he currently has nine puzzles on that theme alone. This is one called Monkey Habitat. It's a thousand pieces. The artist, again, his name is Marino Degano. I love everything he's ever done. And uh, I, I didn't have this one and I would like to have the complete set. So I picked this up at Puzzle Warehouse. Okay, that was one of the, the habitat puzzles. This is another. This is called Cosmic Habitat. It's a thousand pieces. Look how much fun that's gonna be. I love it. This next one is another habitat puzzle called Black Forest Habitat. Uh, this one came out quite a while ago. It may have been the first one in the series. And I had it, but then I no longer had it. It's a long story. I won't bore you with it, but I picked it up again because I wanted the complete set. All right. And so that's it for the hay puzzles. This next puzzle is by the Piatnik Puzzle Company. They are based in Austria. I saw this at Puzzle Warehouse. I had cartoon puzzles on the brain, but I saw it and I loved it. This is called the Pink Pirate. It's a thousand pieces. I love that pink octopus. This just looks like so much fun. So I picked it up. And we're on to the last puzzle. We finally made it to the last puzzle. This is by the Clementoni Puzzle brand. I haven't really talked about them before, but I own quite a few Clementoni puzzles. It's a very good brand. Uh, this is a 2000 piece puzzle that I purchased at Puzzle Warehouse. It's called The Peaceful Jungle. And the artist is a French, paint, a French painter. Her name is Maria Amalia Bartolini. Uh, she's got more puzzles, uh, I believe, on the Hay brand. And I plan to get anything else that she produces because I think her art is just gorgeous, okay? So, that's it. That's the haul. And I did say it was a huge haul. Yeah, it, it, it was a huge haul. Um, so now I need your help. Out of all this that you saw, is there something you'd like me to review? Is there a brand you'd like me to review? A particular puzzle you'd like me to review? I'd love to hear about it. Also, I'd love to hear about if you know of any boutique puzzle brands out there and um, that, that I haven't covered in my other videos or you know that you just think is really outstanding, I'd love to hear about it. So please drop me a note, a note in the comments. Um, so we're at the end. And if you love puzzles as much as I do, and obviously I have a serious puzzle addiction, then consider subscribing. I would really appreciate it. I've got uh, some some brand videos I would like to do for August and another 
<laughs> another mega haul in August that I'm going to be filming. So stay tuned. See you next time.